My name is Eric Phelps. I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. I represent In Defense of Animals, an international animal protection organization with more than 2,000 members in the Portland area. I respectfully ask that you delay the vote on Resolution 12-440, which addresses, which addresses the Oregon Zoo's remote elephant center. It is our understanding that the zoo has shifted strategy for the remote center to a different plan than what voters initially approved in 2008. According to a recent report in the Willamette Week, rather than using the remote center as a second home for the zoo's existing elephants, the zoo now plans to expand its elephant breeding program, buy more elephants, and use the remote center as a breeding facility. <clears throat> Under this new plan, the female elephants currently at the zoo would stay at the zoo and would not benefit from a larger offsite preserve. This is a very different plan um, than what the, uh, the voters were promised back, back in 2008, um, which was to develop a preserve to give the existing elephants more space. This apparent shift in strategy raises serious questions as to whether the zoo is being transparent with our taxpayer money and whether the zoo is carrying out the wishes of voters who approved the bond measure with the expectation that voter money would be used to improve the welfare of, his, of, his, of its existing elephants. This apparent shift in strategy also raises questions whether the zoo is considering the welfare of its existing elephants, many of whom suffer from diseases directly related to captivity and lack of space. We ask that you delay your vote on resolution number 12-4400 until the zoo can demonstrate a plan that addresses the welfare and long-term care of the zoo's existing eight elephants. Thank you. Questions? Thank you. Annette? Hello, Metro Council and citizens of Portland. Um, I'm here today, uh, again, um, uh, to ask Metro Council today to, um, to actually delay the vote on Resolution 124400 because there uh, appears to be a shift in strategy. Um, that was what was originally sold uh, to the public in the bond in <clears throat> 2008. And I, I noticed there's a lot of catch words being thrown around in this room. Um, Councillor Collette, you use the word reserve. Um, Director Kim Smith uses the word offsite uh, remote elephant center. Um, I find it interesting in the, um, the, the slide presentation that the number one goal was to advance world-class program, the world-class breeding program. I think the number one goal here, um, and it was sold to the public as an off-site reserve to give our current herd more space as a way to enhance their livelihood. Packy has been in a concrete, uh, basically a tomb for 50 years, a very tactile animal with nothing but concrete to touch and hard substrate to to stand on. And when we're talking about giving him more space, he was never mentioned. What was mentioned was the world-class breeding program. Now, we have a commitment to our elephants. If we truly love our elephants and if uh, world-class care of our elephants um, is truly um, you know, in the forefront here and animal welfare is truly in the for forefront here, not just breeding and making new ones, OK? then we will allow Packy to have space and it'll be the number one goal for this offsite reserve, Ms. Smith, um, that we give our current herd more space, not to acquire um, more elephants to bring in, to import more elephants and to create a breeding facility. You know, Lily, um, she was brought into this world under false pre pretenses, truly, you know, and she's not to be the golden uterus for the zoo or for Metro Council. Council, she is the property of her mother, and her mother is not here today to speak up for her or for Sam. And Sam would live with his mom until he's 15 in the wild, and he's been pushed out. And these are Asian elephants that belong in warm climates, not, you know, in Oregon at the base of Mount Hood. So I advocate that we spend that $30 million and send these animals to a warmer climate. Kapaki has been in a concrete tomb for 50 years. He could be in sunny California for Christmas, and we owe that to him. So I'm asking um, that we delay this vote until the zoo can be totally transparent on how this money and this 
this land is going to be used because I'm all about giving our current herd more space, but I'm not about importing and having a baby f breeding facility up there with no citizen oversight. Thank you. Questions? Thank you. Courtney. President Hughes and Metro Councilors, I'd give anything in the world if I could be excited about this preserve today. I have followed this issue and advocated for this preserve since 2007. I voted for it. I've gone to numerous hearings. And I was so delighted to hear it was going to be finally voted on. However, what we've discovered through zoo documents is that the plan for this off-site preserve and the vision for the zoo is extremely short-sighted and is not in alignment with true animal welfare. These elephants are living in a terribly constricted space. They really have, by the way, and I think the public should know this, 1.2 acres of land, not 1.5. I found this out from Mike Keel's deposition in the Los Angeles lawsuit against the Los Angeles Zoo. The Los Angeles Zoo spent 40 or $50 million to expand their acres to six acres, just as the zoo is planning here. And here they are. Those elephants really only have two and a half acres. Billy stands and bobs his head all day long, just like he did in his former space. That is not enough space for the elephants. The offsite preserve was supposed to be a space for the elephants, all the elephants that currently live at the Oregon Zoo. Now we find out they're not going, most of them are not going, and the ones that go are going to be bred. What's going to happen to all those animals that are bred in captivity? They're going to end up at a zoo and possibly in a circus. Because as we've discovered also recently, Lily actually belongs to a circus trainer. So these are some serious issues we have with the way the elephants are being treated at the Oregon Zoo. I also recommend that you take the money that is currently being used for this off-site preserve, change, either change the vision or take that money and use it to transport these elephants to a true place where elephants can be elephants, to a sanctuary, and let's start thinking about doing it now because Packy is 50 years old. He's not going to live much longer. And he may very well not live to 2015 when you finally break ground on this new inadequate space for the elephants on site. Thank you. Um, we are voting to acquire the land to create an off-site elephant habitat for our elephants and for, we hope, the future breeding of other elephants. Um, we know that Asian elephants are endangered species, and we know that the Oregon Zoo is probably the most successful breeding program in the world for Asian elephants. We have an opportunity here to help out a species to create the best elephant rearing facilities in the world, and I think, I truly believe we can do that. Um, as Councillor Burkholder noted, we're just beginning the process at that new site. Frankly, we're just beginning the process on site as well at the zoo with expanding our property. So there is a lot to be done, a lot of thought, a lot of care, a lot of understanding, a lot of research. Um, but it's time to move forward and, and begin doing that work. Um, along the way, people have said, why are you taking so long? Why haven't you done this? Why aren't you moving forward? And today, we're going to take the step, I hope, and I'm encouraging my colleagues to support we're going to take that step to move forward and to secure this land and to begin planning for our, our uh, additional elephant facilities.